morning, Central families, and what's up, Central kids? I'm Kristen Potter. I'm our Kids and Family Ministries Director here at Central. Thanks so much for joining us for our online Central Kids experience. How many of you tuned in last week? Maybe you were in your jammies. Maybe you were on the couch watching on an iPad. Maybe you're even in your jammies right now. However, wherever you choose to watch, know that we are so thankful that you joined us for church this morning. I know things are starting to look pretty different these days. I know that school is happening around your kitchen table. I know that PE probably looks like you running around your house like a crazy person just trying to get your wiggles out. Regardless of how different things seem, there is something that we can hold true forever. It's one of our basic truths that hang on our wall at Central Kids. I can trust God no matter what. Even when school looks different, even when mom and dad's jobs look different, even when we can only see our friends over FaceTime, we can trust that God is working things out for our good. Romans 8, 28 says that the Lord is working for the good of those who love him, who are called according to his purpose. That's you and that's me. And we have an opportunity to trust that God is in control. So, Central Families, as we gather to do church this morning, as our kids talk about forgiveness, as our little kids talk about following the leader, we have an opportunity to trust that God is on our side and to trust that He's in control. We are for you as a family. We have given you awesome conversation guides and activity pages so that you can keep these Sunday conversations happening in your home during the week. We love you, we miss you so much, we cannot wait to see your faces, and we're praying for you. With all that being said, let's go to church.
Over here, it's me, Manny. We've been playing a fun game called Be the Leader. Well, today, guess who I am? Yes, I'm a teacher. I'm a leader of a class. Want to play along with me? Yay, I'm so excited. Okay, let's get back to class. All right, class, let's take a look at what we will be learning today. Can anyone tell me what this shape is? Yes, it's a circle. Give yourself a pat on the back. Now, can anyone tell me what number this is? Yes, it's the number three. Give yourself another pat on the back. Last but not least, can anyone tell me what this color is? Yes, blue. Give yourself two pats on the back. You guys are incredible. I just love being your teacher. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Who? Who? Pretending to be a teacher, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I'm so glad that Lucy and I made up the Be the Leader game. It's so much fun. Leading a class is awesome. It's true. Jesus led a special group too. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Now follow. <laughs> you did it. Good girl. Oh, hi friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. We're playing follow me. Whatever I do, Stormy has to follow me and do it too. Like if I make a funny face. <laughs> Good dog. <laughs> You followed me and did what I did. That reminds me of how Jesus' 12 friends followed him and did what he did. Let's meet Jesus' friends. Wow, look at all of them. Jesus had 12 good friends called the disciples. Their names were Peter, Andrew, James, John, the other James, Matthew, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, Judas, Thaddeus, and Simon. Stormy Jane, you are not in the story. Get out of there, silly dog. Let's learn more about the disciples. Peter and Andrew were brothers. So were James and John. And all four of these guys were fishermen. Matthew used to be a tax collector. Judas was in charge of the group's money. Jesus called Peter the rock. Do you want to know the most important thing all these guys did? Can you guess? When Jesus said, follow me, they did. They became the disciples and Jesus was their leader. Everywhere Jesus went, the disciples followed. They saw Jesus do so many amazing things. They saw him make sick people better. They saw him feed people who were hungry. They saw Jesus be kind and loving to everyone. They watched him, they followed him. And when he went away, the disciples did what Jesus did. And that's what we can do too. Just like Jesus friends the disciples, we can follow Jesus and do what he did too. Hey Ollie, Ollie tell me, who can you follow? I can follow Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can you follow? I can follow Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. The disciples followed Jesus, and you can too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story. All of Jesus' good friends, his disciples, 
followed Jesus because they knew that he was the most special leader. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say got it, get it? Got it! Good! I better get back to class. And like Jesus, I'm gonna feed the people. Snack time! See you guys next time, bye! Come and follow me, Jesus said, Matthew 4, 19. One more time. Come and follow me, Jesus said, Matthew 4, 19.